Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I thought we'd have a final look at my Liberty Advent calendar as a whole today because uh, although I will be going away tomorrow, it'll be pretty early. So I think the final unboxings until and including Christmas Day will have to be just from the little boxes that I'll take with me. So I wanted you to see the gorgeous outside of my beautiful advent calendar in all its glory one final time and of course those doors open up it's a bit difficult with my limited viewfinder but they open up very dramatically to reveal all those doors but that's cutting out my light from the new ring light that a few of you have been kind enough to say does make an improvement to the gloominess of my videos. You can actually see a little bit about the product now. So we're making progress. Um, who knows, I might actually learn how to upload from my main camera and make even more progress during the Christmas holiday. So there's a potential um, project ahead. What can we find in today's little drawer? Oh, that's a pencil. It's a Sur Surat pencil. So again, that's quite a nice um, gift. Surat, I haven't bought anything at all from this uh, professional makeup brand which is certainly stocked oh look I think it's lipstick I thought it was an eye pencil I was wrong um yeah I was about to tell you that they are stocked I think exclusively in the UK at Liberty's yes that looks like quite an interesting mid-toned lipstick pencil very pigmented very soft that colour's a bit 90s for me. Do you know what I mean? Those of you who are around and enjoying makeup in the 90s, we all bore lipstick that was that colour nearly all of the time. Um, still, it was good colour. There was a reason why we were doing it. Uh, and that's a nice, very substantial, although it looks fairly flimsy, it looks almost like an eye pencil rather than a lip pencil although we're getting these kind of between sizes now Chanel's certainly doing them and uh, generally I'm a fan um, this one does actually feel in the hand nice and substantial and the lid kind of clicks off the roll up is very very smooth doesn't feel as if it's going to fall out I do like like those little details um, they're missing on a lot of lines, even the quite expensive one these days. So that's quite nice. What do they tell us? Surat La Baton Rouge in Quantel. I'm inspired by the iconic French girl lip. Okay, so they're not seeing this as the 90s. They're seeing this as French girl lip. I'm not so sure about that. French girls, I see, um, tend to like quite a bright red lip rather than that... Um, kind of neutral blood colour, if um, that's a fair description. Anyway, a double-ended lip stilo with a soft creamy base at one end and a matte powder at the other. Ah, oh, right, so <laughs> I hadn't even worked out what's at the other. Ha <laughs> ha, good job by Red. Interesting, okay. That is, that is interesting. Very, um, yeah, very powdery formula that you can see is almost blotting out very easily there. I hope this doesn't dry out too quickly. It's reminding me of those double-ended Dior eye pens that had a very similar formula, a pencil at one end and uh, a powdery shadow at the other. And I think they did, um, they might have done a lip one as well. And I found mine did not last very well at all. Okay, no wonder it felt so substantial or something kind of concealed in that end that had completely passed me by until I read the instructions. Always read the instructions. Okay, the warm mauve hue, that's what they're calling it. 
uh, of Quantrell is a great alternative to your everyday nude. Um, yeah, I would I would say it's an alternative to nude. It's the 90s neutral um, rather than the necessarily French girl look. But maybe we all have our own ideas of what's typically French, don't we? And um, often nothing to do with the reality. Um, that's another topic, but uh, it's one of the things I get a bit of a bee in my bonnet of some of the um, ideas that are spread on YouTube in particular of uh, French style and um, yeah I won't say any more on this it will be a whole other video and I'll probably get into a lot of trouble with my French viewers and that will be quite unfair because I do love a lot of things French and there are certain things I think they do better than anyone else in the world wine and perfume being um, two of them to begin with but uh, I'm not sure that French style is necessarily at all what it is said to be um, in the generalisations and rather out of date generalisations we get on YouTube and in some magazines. And I'm not sure it's all it's cracked up to be either. But that's another matter. Anyway, so um, that is, uh, yeah, I'm quite, quite excited to play with that, especially that powdery colour and um, see how that works out on the lips. It's very different proposition trying out on the lips as opposed to on the back of the hand with lipstick in my view um so I, I will hope to be seeing you the next few days just not in this venue um please like if you've got to the end of this video that helps me out i'm losing subscribers hand over fist during this series but i'm gonna make it to the end and then reassess what we do in the new year thereafter but uh, a few thumbs up would encourage me no end and uh, please do follow on Instagram as well. Uh, same tag, at Miss Frankie Cat. So until tomorrow, bye for now.